Look at this muddy water! <laughs> Can you guess what I'm going to do with this? No. Well, I'm going to be the most insane speaker in this event because I was just about to drink it! <laughs> but I'm not that insane because I brought my magic straw here. So don't worry. Hi, everybody. So don't worry. Wow, it tastes really good. <laughs> Wait, you don't know what it is? You don't know what it is? Well, I'm quite surprised that future global leaders cannot recognize this. This is something that you should know after all. This is one of the most representative examples of appropriate technology called Lightstra. So forget about Lightstra, this is joke. What is appropriate technology? Appropriate technology is the technology in general or a specific technology that is designed to take account of the social, economic, and the environmental circumstances in which it is important. Simply, appropriate technology is the technology that is appropriate for specific areas considering its environment. So this trial implies my idea were spring to it. Many people have not ever seen this, even heard its name. As you have just seen, it purifies, it purifies water and is easy to use, cheap, only $2, and light. Is there anyone who wants to feel high waste? You can hold this for several seconds if you want. Just be careful about the body water. So, so how do you feel? Isn't that real light? Right. But I do not think that you would understand what appropriate technology is just referring to its definition and one example. So, let's look at some features to clarify the difference with advanced technology which you're familiar with. Following features will help you understand it better later on. So first, localization. It is the most essential part of appropriate technology. It should be related or aim specific areas considering its environment. Second, price. Products that adopted appropriate technology should be cheap for its accessibility and distribution. Third, producibility. It is optimal that the material of appropriate technology is from the region where it is used so that the local can produce the item by itself. Fourth, usability. Appropriate technology does not require any specific knowledge or understanding of science. It is easy to use. Lastly, contribution. <coughs> appropriate technology sometimes creates employment and contributes to the society. There are several more features that draw a line between appropriate technology and other kind of technologies. However, you don't have to satisfy all the requirements. Talking about it outside of the dictionary, how many people in the world do you think are under the privilege of technology? 30%. 30 percent? Everyone? Half? 19. 19? Mm -hmm. You might imagine most of the people in the world, but only top 10 percent of human population is. Technology, especially advanced one, is not really up to people than we expected. Advanced technology might sound unrealistic to people living with a dollar, or less a day. What is the keyword of 21st century? Sustainable development, environment, humanism. However, when we think of the term science technology or maybe just technology, we consider it to be the instrument 
that accomplishes scientific development in developed society while humanity pursues sharing what you have. It's such a paradox that we set humanism as a keyword of the century pursuing our own development through advanced technology. The appropriate technology is sometimes referred to as the technology with humanity. That is the reason why we should take a look at this as 21st century citizens. Then, what would be the goal of appropriate technology? Generally, appropriate technology aims developing countries. However, it does not directly give its effect to its development, either in cultural or economical way. While the, while the appropriate technology itself is referred to as technology with humanity, its goal is sometimes referred to as the priming water for development. Many of those developing countries do not satisfy the basic need for human life. The developing countries should satisfy the basic need for human life prior to the economical development. The goal of appropriate technology is to help construct strong infrastructure, which is the basis of development. We've covered some concepts of appropriate technology. Adopting those to our real world, the first example is designed to present the gift of illumination called the litter of light. It is not different from ordinary bottle will be water, except for the fact that water inside of litter of light includes simple and cheap chemical material called soda. Simply, it absorbs lights coming from outside and spread. I have ever run booths about appropriate technology when I was a little school student. Many people paid attention to this, but some people said that it was useless because it works only in the daytime when you can collect light naturally without the help of it, and because it does not work in the nighttime when you do it right. But what you have to remember is that originally, it was not designed for the night time. In some region that look for litter of light, you cannot collect light naturally because there are no windows and the height of house is quite low. It was designed for the house that is dark in the daytime. A general layer of light is as bright as 50 watt light bulbs, which is considerably bright. The second example is about water that all human beings around the world needs for living. 4,000 children die a day because of unsanitary water. So this q drop helps living in clean water lacking area carry water. They have to walk a long distance and bring it back. So they should hold a jar with their hand or on their head, which is much inefficient than just rolling. Q-drum allows you to just roll the water drum, which can serve five times more water than an ordinary jar. Similar, but not the same as Q-drum, the water cone can generate water with simple science principle. Once you pour water on the ground and it evaporates, taking living bacteria or things that are harmful to your health on the ground. As the vapor meets the pan of water cone, it changes into droplets, as you see here. Then you can collect the droplets as clean water. We've covered layer of light, q drum, and the water con. Those are related to survival in physical terms, but that does not mean that the ability of appropriate technology is limited to survival in physical terms. Appropriate technology sometimes influences other practical sector, which is also the basic need for human life. So this pot-in-pot pot cooler, this pot-in-pot pot cooler is designed to present the cheapest freezer in the world. It utilizes the same principle of the water cone, but in a different way. The water inside of the mud between big pot and small pot evaporates, taking temperature from the small pot. You can keep a tomato for three weeks, which expires within two days. As we covered, appropriate technology 
gives attention to developing countries according to their needs. Paying attention to appropriate technology is another good way to pay attention to global development. But in the meantime, the importance of appropriate technology does not just remain in those attention lacking areas, but in our developed society, especially for our science technology. Some experts were that we need to stop developing science technologies because it is about to be out of control pointing out that appropriate technology will be a break for this. I found one common thing between appropriate technology and global leader. They are great humanists. You know how to share what you have as appropriate technology does. You make an effort for global development as appropriate technology does. Isn't the appropriate technology the idea worth spreading? Thank you for listening to me today.